Mr. Speaker, last weekend, another 21 refugees looking for safety walked for hours through snowy fields to get to Canada through Emerson, Manitoba. Repeated calls on the government to take concrete, immediate actions like suspending the Safe Third Country Agreement continue to go unanswered while these individuals are literally ris risking life and limb. If some poor farmer were to find a refugee family laying in his field, would the Minister of Immigration continue to repeat the same lame non-answer we've heard for weeks? Would he have the Minister of Fisheries and Oceans repeat them for him? Will the Minister finally suspend the Safe Third Country Agreement now? What's it going to take, Mr. Speaker? The Honourable Minister of Immigration. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to begin by thanking the people of Emerson for their generosity in welcoming those who are seeking protection in difficult circumstances. Mr. Speaker, I'm, I'm, I'm glad for the member opposite to ask me the question because my department moved very, very quickly to engage with CBSA, RCMP and the town of Emerson this weekend after the arrival of 21 asylum claimants. We worked with the Manitoba Interfaith Immigration Council and the local resettlement organization to provide transportation to asylum seekers from Emerson to Winnipeg and the settlement organization has offered asylum claimants a place to stay if needed. Member for